Welcome back once again. Today I want to show you guys on how to go about your smoked dress. And what I have with me is an elastic thread for to make your smoked dress. So this elastic dress, you, before you before you start cutting your your cloth, there's something you need to do. You can see how it's 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 expanded. So it is it is thread which we are going to use to make our elastic or smoked dress rather. So what you do first is to put your elastic thread in water. Why you should put it? Because your elastic thread needs to be soft because it, since it has been sealed inside for long, it has dried up. So you need to put it in water so it gets soft. That is what you are going to do then before you start doing anything. So let me go ahead to arrange my fabric and come back to you. Okay, so I have my fabric cut out already and how I got my fabric, I keep it on fold and get my largest part of my measurement and the larger part of my measurement is my hip. My hip divided by 4 plus 5 inches for ease. 4 inches is for ease and 1 inch for sewing allowance. So you get your hip measurement which is your largest part of your body measurement, any part that is large, you divide that by 4 plus 5 inches for your sewing allowance 4 inch inside that 5 inches 4 inch, inch is for ease then 1 inch is for your sewing allowance so what I did next after then since it is an off shoulder I went on to throw away 5 inch for the top here 5 inch and this 1 inch which I have here which I have here is for my folding allowance that I'm going to hem at the up and i also have another one inch from the down part after my full length which i'm going to hem at the down so my full length is 38 that is what i have 38 plus this one inch which is here now is making it 39 and at this up my full length is starting from this up here what i have here this one inch one inch which i have here is for my folding allowance so after that from this your five inch line mark you go ahead to find your waist, which is your half cut. So my half cut is 15. That is where I place my waist. Then from this, your half cut, you come down by 9 to get your hip. From your half cut, you come down by 9 to get your hip. So that is what I have here now. So after I have done gotten that, so I go ahead for my shaping of my dress. So for the shaping, my bust measurement, which I'm going to take at this mile, upper body say the off area that is where i will place my bust measurement so my bust measurement is 34 divided by 4 give me 8.5 plus 5 inches so 8.5 which i have here 8.5 then 4 inch for your ease and 1 inch for your sewing allowance that is what i have here so come back to your waist my waist is 29 29 divided by 4 gives me 7.2, 7.25, but I'm going to make it 7.5. So 7.5 for my waist, 4 inch inches for my ease, then 1 inch for my sewing allowance. So after that, you come over to your waist, your hip, sorry, your hip, my hip is 37 and half divided by 4 gives me 9.25. So I'm going to make it 9.5. 9.5 plus 4 inch inches for sewing allowance and my 1 inch here for ease so at this note here I'm going, I'm going to look what I have here and minus 1 inch what I have in total here is 14.5 minus 1 inch will give me 13.5 so I'm going to place my 13.5 here at, the, at my down region which is my full length and I'm going to connect it to my hip Connect your 39 to your hip. Give it that curve. And from your hip, connect it to your waist. And from your waist, yeah, connect it down to your bust. So what I'm going to do now is to cut it out. What I'm cutting now, I have 
my both my back and my front place together that is what i am shaping out because it is a smoked dress you need an extra ease because it will not have zip at the back so it will be able to fit in your client this is actually for my sister so this is my back and this is my front it does not have back and front after you are done doing that so what i'm going to do next i am going to hem my front part I'm going to fold it in two fold it once like this and fold it again then so that's the same thing i'm going to do for the down for the both front and back so let me go ahead to join that and come back to you so at this note i have gone ahead to hem both the up and the back and the down side of my dress so what you are going to do now is to take out your thread take out your thread and you are going to reel it inside your reeler because this is where it is going to be it's not going to sit at the up but under your machine so this is your reeler that is what you are going to do you are going to take off your thread and reel it so let me look for my the end of my thread and okay i think i found it so this is the end of my thread all you need to do now is to reel it don't stretch it when you reel it you can use your hand you can use your hand and roll them in or you can use your sewing machine to reel it but make sure it, you are not stretching it when reeling it in you free your hand you can see me free it you can still use your machine to do this please don't drag it when doing this make sure it is free just put it in like that don't stretch it until it folds then you put it in your reeler so let me go to the machine and show you how to go about it let me do with this one so what i have here now is my elastic thread as i told you so this is going to be under your machine and at your top you're going to have your normal thread which you normally use for your sewing that is what you are going to use at your top you bring out the, your rubber thread at the down so as this is your upper part what you need to do is to maintain your hemming line is your first rubber thread and the distance between your first rubber stitch and the second one will be half inch that is the difference between the first and the second so let me go ahead to put this down So you can see our gather is coming out bit by bit so as i said your distance between your first stitch and your second stitch will be half an inch so let me go ahead to do another one to show you before i do the rest part of camera so half an inch that is your distance between the first and the second and it's like So why you should put your rubber thread in water it is because the water makes your rubber thread to be light because it is so much thick so when you put it in water it makes it to be light and it gives it that elastic edge over when it was not put in water so it, the water softens it so you can see the half inch which i told you you must maintain you can see what i have here now is half inch between this up stitch and this down stitch the distance is half inch so that is what I'm going to do all through this my dress to the to the end, and I do the same for the other part. So I don't want to waste much of your time. Let me go ahead and do it, then come back to show you the result of it. You can see how it is looking. It's looking very nice. There is something very serious I want to show you. I've told you before, but I want to still clarify you on this because you must do this. Is a must. You must do this. So when sewing this make sure as your machine is sewing your needle is sewing on a plain ground plain ground not on gathers so i want to show you guys how to do that when sewing this is your front hand you're using this your front hand to arrange it as it is coming you're using this your hand to arrange it make sure you are make sure you take your time 
take your time to do this. He said, I'm arranging this. I said, I'm doing my hands. My friend is coming to my hands. I'm arranging this. This is how I'm going to do it. He said, straight on the playground. Your mind now is straight on the playground. Just to be saying like this. You are arranging your friend. He said, I'm not trying to do it. He said, I'm not trying to do it. He said, I'm not trying to do it. Make sure you are arranging it like this. You want to do this. Then you have to have a perfect outfit. For it to fit you very, very much. To put this up to the end. I have done, that was what I did up to this level. I want to show you how to do it. That is why I said I should come back again to tell you how to go about it. Make sure you are doing it like that. Make sure all through from your start to the end. Make sure. As you come stitching, you're arranging it when sewing, arranging it until it gets to the end. So this is what I want to show you. Let me go ahead to complete it. And make sure your, your allowance is the half inch, which I told you, if you look now closely, you see the distance between the first stitch and the second stitch up till the down, it is half half inch. That is what your, the distance of your stitch should be. So let me go ahead to complete it. So this is what you should have after sewing. Make sure when sewing, make sure you put a mark to indicate your up and your down. As you can see, after I've sewn, I've sewn close to half, I put a shock that indicate that this is my up. Well, I started sewing from the up and I did the same thing for this side. So that I don't make mistake putting your up at the bottom and putting the bottom at the up. So it comes out better. So what you're going to do now is to fit, face your right side dressing, facing right side together. You know when stitching, we stitch on the right side. So this your back now should be the elastic area. So when stitching, make sure you stitch on the right side so that your elastic appears at the back. So what you're going to do now is to put there together. You know I took one inch for my sewing allowance. So what I'm going to do now is to sew half inch. You can as well sew your one inch, but you can still go as well to sew your half inch up the way down at the both side. So when I'm when I'm done doing this, I'll put it on for you to see. I hope you want to see how I, how it looks on me. Don't worry, I'll put it on for you to see. Then I'll come back. So you can see how it is looking very nice and beautiful. You can see the five inches which I took out for the up. This is the five inches. So what I'm going to do next now is to indicate where I'm going to put my strap. So I don't want to leave it like you can also leave it like this if you go well, but I want to put a strap for this that you'll be able to tie at the end here. And my strap that I have cut out, it is 1.5 inches for what I cut out. So let me bring my strap for you to see. My strap which I have already cut out, and what I have here is 1.5 inches. I don't I did not take the measurement of this. Let me cross check what it's here. Let me see. So what I have here is 29. You can make yours shorter, you can make it like this. Uh I'll see if I can reduce it. Okay, I'll leave it like this. It will also come out, bring out the beauty. So the strap is 29 inches, and what I have here is 1.5 inch. That I have here, 1.5. So what I'm going to do now is to put it, fold it like this and sew it down. After I've sewn it down, I'm going to use something to bring it out. So let me go ahead to do that, then come back and show you what to do. So you can see I have put my strap on this dress. So just go ahead to take your measurement on your client. After she, have, she must have put it on, go ahead to take where you are going to put your strap and go ahead to do this. So at this point, I want to thank all of you for stopping by to to learn with me. So go ahead to subscribe in case you are new to the channel. Thank you and remain blessed.